What is up, people? Dev Sage here, and I'm going to be telling you about the singleton design pattern in JavaScript. So, the singleton pattern is a creational pattern, and it comes in handy when you want to limit the number of instances of an object to at most one. Um, so, let's go ahead and jump into the code. So, I'm going to set up a scenario. So, let's say I want to write a program that uh, a that manages processes and the two main components of this program is going to be your process and your, your process manager so obviously you can have one or more processes but you only want to have one process manager to manage those processes so we need to write a program in such a way that we want to limit the number of process manager instances to at most one so let's go ahead and jump right in it so I guess we can go ahead and create our process function process and uh, this the, the information of, about the process isn't necessarily important but we're just gonna pass in uh, let's say pass in state and this dot state equals state it's gonna represent maybe if, if, if a process is running or, or blocked or or stopped doesn't really matter that's just our process here and so now we need to create our process manager um, in a way such that we want to limit the number of instances of the process manager to at most one so the way to do that the the, the way to implement the singleton pattern is we create a variable called let's call it singleton doesn't really matter and we want to set that equal to an immediately invoked function expression And inside of that function expression we would put any object constructor for any of the objects we want to limit so like we said we want to limit the number of instances of the process manager so we're going to con use the object constructor here process manager and like I said with process it doesn't really matter what the information is inside of here but let's just say this dot num processes is gonna equal zero it's gonna initialize that to zero um, so the next thing we need to do is store an instance or store a reference of an instance to the process manager of the only instance that we're going to be allowed to use um, and down here we need a way to create this instance so we're gonna create a function uh, create process manager and this function isn't going to be exposed to the outside this is just local to the singleton um, so inside create process manager we're going to let we're going to assign p manager equal to a new process manager and then we're going to return p manager so now we actually need a way to get inside of singleton but we don't want to call create process manager we don't want to be able to call create process manager from the outside what we're what we are going to expose though is an object that has a method called get process manager and inside of this method we're actually going to say we're going to run a check to see if our instance of p manager here if P manager is not set if P manager is equal to null then we need to create a new instance of our P manager so we're gonna set P manager equals to create process manager else I mean if it's not null that means it's already set we just return that instance of P manager and that's pretty much it so uh, let's go down here outside of the singleton and let's cr let's create a new instance of our process manager so we're gonna say const uh, process manager equals new or equals singleton dot get process manager and I guess uh, 
the way to kind of prove that this is actually working is we need to create two instances of process manager. So we're going to call, we're going to create another process manager. What we're going to say process manager two equals to singleton dot get process manager. And let's say, let's console log whether or not these two process managers are actually equal. We want this to return true saying that even though we called get process manager twice, this is actually pointed to the same process manager. So true, these two instances of process manager are equal, meaning we haven't created any new instances. So the, the kind of the walking through starting from this first call of process manager goes into the singleton calls get process manager. It checks to see if the process manager instance here is null. Then we want to set it P manager equals create process manager. So it jumps up to here and it sets P manager equal to a new instance of the process manager and then returns P manager. Fine. So that's our first instance of our first and only instance of process manager being stored here in this reference. Now, when we get down to this call process manager two, we go back up to the singleton dot get process manager. If P manager is equal to null, well, that's not true because in the last step, we just set it and we have that reference still. So this is going to be skipped. And we're actually going to just jump to return P manager because it's already been set. And that is basically how the singleton pattern works. Um, that's pretty much it. If you want to ever limit the number of instances of an object to zero or one, then the singleton pattern is what you should use. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment down in the, the, the comment section. Uh, leave a like if you liked it. I encourage you to subscribe if you want more tutorials like this. And peace.